What's going on, YouTube? Time for another recap. <clears throat> Excuse the raspy voice there. Um, so today was an interesting one. We start off on the X here. Let's talk about our plays that we had uh, made and that we had seen. Uh, so we had some interesting gaps all the way like seven hours ago. So there's an interesting one on here in ES. Very close to 5,528 there. We'll come back to that. Um, then we had called. There's actually a longer post here. Uh, we called that the 666 one minute on ES would have to catch back up and supply a support for NQ and ES to move up to attack some of those gaps. I don't exactly know how to get to the perfect comment section there because X and Twitter is just one of those bleh platties. So um, off to some easier posts. Up, up, up. There we go. So the bias swap and the main thing for the algo today was 544.40. Right. So we had shied away an intraday unfilled gap that's still going to be on our radar for sure. And then we had an algo produced here in pre market, thus giving us a beautiful already filled data top fib with a needing to be data filled bottom fib. So we'll go into that. And then we had an over under become very long, awesome bias. So has a really good start to the um, VWAP tags, which we'll get into here as we post it. VWAP signal targets, nice little $2,300 starter there. We ended up with 6225 and let's get into it. So starting whoa, with the ELGO. So five-minute high-low ELGO. We see this interesting candle being made here on TOS. Beautiful range. Nice full wicks there. Nice and big. There we go. Let's tune into this. Bam. So with this algo, we had an over under being 544.40, right? And we had talked about our last video having these purple Fibonacci sequences. They like to walk themselves all the way back down, right? So what they do is they tapped out. We knew the 423.60 was coming. That's a little excessively big for that. <laughs> there we go. 423.60 was hit. And then it walks it back down to hit here, 2618, walks it back down, 1618, and so on and so forth. So we were looking for a potential over under there as well at the 1618, because we do have that old daily Fibonacci that we have been using, because that is going to be another pop to drop metric, right? And if we see right here, 1618, Oh, weird, right to the penny, right? Right near our over under level. So we had a nice little channel there, very close to. So it picked back up right near that 1618 um, and the daily right on the 1618 to that downside. And we had seen uh, potential for a big squeeze coming up because of the gaps we had called on the futures, right? So let's get into that real quick. So we had notified on X and, um, you know, you know, Twitter alike there that we had some one minute gaps to be filled that needed a run up and to be filled same day, right? Some are, some are not. Let's go over the ES ones. And that's the ones that we were prominent on. So we do have one unfilled up by 20,017. Now for NQ, I'm not too worried about NQ. That thing shies and goes all over the place. ES and SPY is always the better trader. So we did have some longs. This is our first $2,500 long on the VWAP extension, which I said there on X. Uh, this is the extension low here. I bought into the minus two deviation away from the regular old VWAP. And then that is just the minus two deviation. So I seen that as a um, reputable back test. And we had some moving averages that we needed to back test as well for X extra confirmation. So as far as the NQ gap, it got very close to that fill up there. And because we had multiple ES gaps here, um, as noted, that was one of the big precursors to uh, to watch the real market, the ES, the one that actually trades these here. So we're going to get rid of this. We could stick to that one minute time frame. There we go. So we had this abundant, beautiful rip up, right? So what are the gaps are right here that needed to be filled? And right here. Don't know why they're always removed from this chart when I come back and I reset, but he's there. And notably, this is the one that we covered on X, where I said there's a sneaky boy down here that needs to fill. TOS, just doing TOS things. Always the junker. TOS had some outages this morning too, across the board. So those are all the one minute gaps we had found this morning. So the two I posted by I said we had one lower and two above when you have this many gaps uh, pointed direction, we do have some really 
potential craziness happening on. And uh, we had a lot of interesting stuff in pre-market that said it was going to be a very interesting day today uh, that we had discussed in Discord. So this was the bottom gap that had gotten filled with a beautiful fresh low price action scam, which causes those squeeze. Uh, shorters, for whatever reason, love to follow those down and get blown out. Uh, that's one of their favorite things. So gap one and gap two here. Um, after this was filled were our targets. So we were long from here and ran up that 6,225 win from chasing down gap number one and gap number two, okay, on the ES. So we had a feeling that we were gonna have that uh, snap back up uh, for a couple of different reasons there, right? And one of the biggest pieces to the puzzle, I'd probably say top six, maybe not the biggest, one of the biggest, was our friend here, the volatility index. And on the five day, five minute, we started in a deviation plus one uh, extension. Actually, let me get the deviation chart. I don't know why I'm doing it over here. Boom, boom. So we had this five day, five minute on the VIX, right? And this over the plus one deviation, this is our zero, this is our minus one. There's always, always an opportunity that we come down from um, the plus one or up from the minus one, because a lot of the time the volatility index without an outside source of data, Powell, world news, uh, generally speaking, does not get too far away from plus one minus one okay so this minus one you can see where it hovered here for about you know a day that's the holiday trade session you can see back here three trade days ago uh, or four um, plus or minus the holiday we had a, a plus one that it fell from we had it tapping into the plus one plus one plus one plus one and it finally fell to the center and a gap up and whenever we have a gap up into those uh, and again without news without anything uh, it usually doesn't hold there's no catalyst right this gap up is just fabricated and it is what it is so this gap right here um, we looked to see potentially fill same day and we got that one now another thing is i love cluster gaps when there's multiples of the gaps not yesterday or last trade day rather but thursday uh, we did have a cluster of gaps here on the vix as well three to be precise so the opening gap and then two others so the vix will most likely come back down and revisit this mid 12 dollar range here uh, very shortly in the near future depending on maybe some of the data that we got um, coming up for this week, let's uh, hope that's uh, the catalyst for it. So back to the old market and prediction. We needed a couple different, um, there we go, confirmations here. So we're going to delete the algo that we got in pre-market. So we're all done with that. And we had that nice little run up. And what we're going to do is we're going to see the moving average confirmations here that we had also needed um, on these plays and on last trade day we just had that just low flying friday it's usually a fail breakout friday you know fail out friday it's, it's always the worst trade day next to monday tuesday wednesday thursday are always the best and um, we had a 666 no tag obviously and then a barely a 200 tag so what that means is we move into the next day of trading the moving average confirmations right we've already had an interaction with the 200 sma last trade day and then if you look at the thursday when we had our last inter uh, interactions with um both or all three rather of our majors we have the 100 200 and 666 uh, we never got a back test of the 666 for thursday and that was one that you're going to utilize the 200 for right and then you get a run to the 666 so we said if we did recoup right here this back test this was one of our first longs out of the gate push 200 ema and 200 and then most likely squeeze to the 666 because we don't have a back test of that and we need a hit of the 666 to continue any potential trend to the downside because we are still looking for an unfilled gap to be hit right here on spy whether that be today during the data it wants to just sit here and do the chop that's fine whatever it happens to be it will eventually hit this pocket because now back to our fibonacci and this intraday gap that we have we can create a small channel right here and this is where we're going to see in the near future in my opinion 542 80s and uh this might be data tuesday thursday friday we don't have much monday wednesday we'll see what that is but if this brings the volatility that i expect we should see that gap fill this week and i would like to see it come back down um with a little test of the 10 sma daily that's coming in right now at about 543.20 as well so the 666 resistance is here. We got the 200 SMA broke over, back tested. Uh, we had another really good confirmational trade here. Um, this was a moving average back test, same thing as we were just talking about. So the 100 EMA. Notice when the live trading started, we had price action dip, hit our support, snapped through. Notice that there's a completely clean breakthrough, the 100 EMA. And then once it started setting up this lower high right here, we said that we we're going to be shorting down to the 200 SMA for a back test of confirmation and the 100, because again, we broke through the 200, broke through the 100 with 
zero conformational back test. So what did it need? It needed to run back up, lower high, and boop, there we go. And then back up. And we got off stream um, at about 10 a.m. and said there probably isn't gonna be a whole lot of volatility or trading. And <laughs> look what happened uh, because we got our first big moves out of the gate because we were usually done by about 10.30, 11 at the latest in Central, uh, about 10 a.m. It's just, those were the best moves. We trade a lot of pre-market, a lot of that first hour and a half open. And usually, generally the market doesn't, you know, come on again till power hour unless we got power or something else. So we did have some really good algo hits there. Great predictions on those gaps on the futures. So again, likelihood of staying under the 2618 now, under 545.90, breaking through the 1618 and coming to our target of about 543. That is the next prediction. So pay attention to that. We'll go over a couple of little anchors here fast, and then that'll be that. So one of the bigger metrics here that we had were the anchor view apps top down as well um, as bottom up. We had some really good ones here. So uh, Spy, a lot of disrespect to these anchors, but you can see that Spy had a pretty decent hold on the five minute anchor here. This was a bottom up. So again, if you miss like a big run like this, right? And then it slowly starts coming down. These anchor catch ups where you just anchor a view app at the low of day, they will generally find a resistance point. And when you confirm a lower high setup, MACD trend, whatever your indicators and oscillations are, uh, you will find a backtest of these anchors because we like to stack those catalysts utilizing RSI, MAC, anchor view apps, Fibonacci together to create, uh, you know, a lot stronger of a uh, direction of trading, right? We need confirmation. So this anchor, Pushing back up here, we had it fall, fall into the lower and pop. So that's a really good uh, scalp target for the shorts that were coming down here and the long if they wanted to reverse that because usually our short targets become long entries, especially for the scalps. Same with our friend Q's over here. If you guys remember talking about Q's in the last uh, YouTube video here, we also had this uh, CPI lower anchor. That's the neon blue one right here. And that is from the data five minute candle on the bottom. And every time we've had an interaction like we covered in the last YouTube video, the CPI anchor was uh, extremely strong strong right so we needed a live tag of the back test of that for our last trade day because wednesday we had another beautiful hold thursday right i'm so sorry thursday we had a beautiful hold. friday we came into a crack under for the first time of that cpi five minute anchor right here and then we waited for what well confirmation because if you're a short chaser you don't wait for confirmation like we do and you, you tend to, to to just jump into the lowest point of the trend or highest point if you're chasing the top and what does that look like here well that looks like this it breaks down under an anchor view app creates a fresh low and then they reverse it to high a day to blow the shorts out that may have tackled or jumped into this opening range dump for whatever reason not waiting for confirmation you know you're, you're shorting into large mac depletion waves where those just aren't good short moves right we know this so as we came into today's break we did need a live tag of that blue anchor on the bottom side as well so we had a good magnet there where she did open up create a fresh low, pushed out to higher high, like we just covered, those scams, right? They love it. And then proceeded to do another low, right? So again, we are going to look for that continuation down for those spy um, algo covers, right? So we're gonna get those algos to cover this price action that does have a gap. We need to fill that in down here. And that's where I think we're going. I don't know if it's gonna be today. We're gonna get some monster wash, late power hour day or whatever it happens to be. But, um, you know, we will inevitably see, I think this week for 543 and that's the first short trade so i'll be metric in on that and um we'll be adding into that right now i think on a couple contracts on es so with that being said vix can come all the way back up to 13.87 with this short down here so let's watch these play out catch you on the next